For the past three months, I've shared with you guys how I've been studying for my third year medical school exams. And now, finally, it's time for you to see how I actually scored in those. Okay, my... Hmm. Hello and welcome, I'm Zaha. I'm a third year medical student studying in the UK and today we're going to find out whether I'll have to stay in third year or I'll be able to move forward to become a fourth year in medical school. Now I'll open my medical school exam results with you guys and I will actually be reading the examiner's feedback as well. So we'll find out together what I did well and what I did terribly wrong. I will specifically focus on my OSCE results. OSCEs are basically clinical or practical exams of medical school. So in my final OSCE exam we had four stations, so four clinical skills were asked. The first one was pregnant abdo examination and pregnant history taking and the second one was headache history taking and the third one was hip joint examination and the fourth one was ECG interpretation. Now I'll go through what I scored for each clinical skill and my score and average score and what was the feedback that I got from the examiner. Okay I'll do this on my laptop, I've got my laptop here. So let's see what I got for pregnant abdo examination. Disclaimer, this station was the hardest station for me because I ran out of time and I didn't have time to answer the examiner's questions in the end. So probably this is going to be the worst one out of all of them, but who knows. Okay, I've got it here. My year three overall OSCE results. Okay, I passed. I thought I would pass. That's good. My score, my overall Oscar score is 80.56. And the required standard is 61.36. I passed well over the pass mark, which is good. Now let's look at the obstetric or pregnancy examination station results. So my score is 68.8 and the pass mark is 62.1. So here's your feedback. Just could have been a bit smoother. Will come with practice in time. You need to ask previous delivery, pregnancy complications, folic acid and some more obstetric specific questions. Yeah, fine. I don't think I asked about folic acid, so that's fair enough. It's just like so hard to go through everything, so hard to cover everything because like there's so many bits and bobs that you have to cover in the history taking. For examination feedback, always wear gloves if examining patients, heart rates and positions and checking maternal pulse at the same time too. Need to be more confident. I think when I realised that my time was running out, I was kind of getting stressed about it. But I did check the heart rates and positions. You know, sometimes this happens. Sometimes the examiner, like you got to make sure the examiner sees what you're doing. And I did wear gloves to examine the patient in the end, but she still put that down. The examiner did. Musculoskeletal or hip joint examination results. Okay, my score is 93.8 and the pass mark is 62.6. This is the one that I scored the highest. So I'm very happy about my hip examination. For my communication skills, it says excellence, which I'm very happy about. It says friendly and natural feeling introduction. Showed empathy early on and I really liked how you inquired about impact on daily life at the beginning of the consultation as this is really important for musculoskeletal. Active listening and responding to what patient is saying. History is excellent. Do you see your doctor for anything regularly? Was a really nice way of asking about past medical history. Covered all major points slickly within an appropriate time frame. So my timing was really good for this part of the exam. My best station for this exam was definitely hip joint examination. And it shows because I got all excellent. For examination, examination felt slick and well practiced. Okay, so I'm happy about this one. So I think I felt more confident going to this station. Also, I had enough time left in the end. So that's why I probably kind of gave a long summarizing statement because I had quite a long time until I was going to run out of time. Okay, let's move on to ECG. So ECG was my first station. I don't know, ECG reading is just very, very tricky. It's tricky, but I passed. Let's see what's the pass mark. My score is 72.2 for this. Pass mark was 61.8. So yes, it's again above the pass mark, which I'm happy about. The communication skills, procedural skills, clinical reasoning, they're all satisfactory. 
try not to let your nerves get the better of you if you can once you relaxed a little your answer flowed much better i guess i was a bit <laughs> anxious during the ECG because it was my first station like I said so yeah I guess my nerves kind of was playing up first clinical examination that was asked to me was ECG and in the feedback it says how I was looking very anxious and once I relaxed a little it flowed a lot better and I could answer the exam a lot better it said right I think it just shows that once the exam starts once I keep going by the end of the exam I feel a lot more confident I feel less anxious because like it's actually fine I realize my last examination during the exam was hip examination and I scored the highest for that so it just shows really the difference between my first and last exam in the first one it says like be more confident be less anxious on the feedback but in the last one it says you were very confident very warm and everything that I got for the last clinical skill was all excellent I guess for me the learning points from here is try to be more confident and like more relaxed starting from the first station because as you go through you realize that it's actually okay anyway but it's easy to say but hard to do because we all know that exam nerves and exam stress is real so my score for headache station is 87.5 but the pass mark is 60 so i'm happy about it i actually vlogged how i studied for this exam so if you want to see that vlog on my channel it is how i studied for my final exam oski study vlog and i'll put it somewhere around here in that video I go through how I was very anxious about this exam because this OSCE was the last exam of the year and I was just trying to adapt this like making YouTube videos but also being on top of my uni work which wasn't very easy so it made it all more stressful so that's why I'm happy about my results because it's above the average and I passed it. I think I'm just kind of worried about fourth year now because these exams are going to be even harder in fourth year, but I'm happy about it, so that's what matters. To be honest, I'm kind of feeling worried about putting this on the internet and on YouTube because like all the feedbacks that I got, you know, all the mistakes that I did, it's kind of personal, but I just wanna keep it real and I want to show you guys the ups and downs of medical school. So I will put this, I think I will use this video. In medical school, people do not really share their results unless they're top of the class and they scored amazing. So that's why I had second thoughts about whether I should open my results in front of the camera or not. So I hope you found it useful and hope it gave you good insight of how the examiners mark our OSCEs and what kind of feedback they give us and so what they do care about. If you did find it helpful and if you want to see more, please consider subscribing and liking this video and I'll see you in the next one.